So I think that the thing that people focus on most when looking at the Marshall Plan and what happened at that moment um, in history is that it has strong economic as well as political elements. So the importance of recognizing that a strong European economy or strong European economies, because we're talking about a number of different countries here, is actually also important for the United States. But there was a strong political message too, because what uh, George Marshall and uh, the uh, administration in the US at that time did not want was for a Europe which had been brought to its knees by the war uh, to be looking to Russia for political uh, cover and for help with political recovery. This was a highly politicized moment in our history in terms of the battle between uh, communism and, you know, the free market, capitalism, whatever uh, you want to call it. But it was also a battle around ideas uh, in terms of, you know, what kind of world, uh, uh, in terms of values, were important uh, going forward. So the enlightened self-interest, uh, that's such a key element of that speech, is all about a recognition that the US's role and the critical role that the US could play going forward in terms of its global leadership was partly dependent on a resurgent Europe.